everybody, and welcome to the science classroom emergency shower. You know, the one that your teacher tells you not to pull the handle or you have to clean it up. I'm Monster, and today I am joined by all of these lovely people on the shower cap kids, Blackboard Township High School's comedy and improv team. Everyone say hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. Uh, we're not going to go through and introduce everybody this week because we did that last week. So if you want to see that, go ahead and tune in last week. And today we are bringing you Rinse and Repeat with the Shower Cap Kids, our newest podcast. Yup. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> she, uh, she's correct. She's correct. Yo, is, yo, yo, we doing a podcast right now? Crazy. What? <laughs> oh, of course we're doing a podcast. And this wouldn't be a Shower Cap Kids podcast if we weren't competing, completing one world mission every week. Do you What's guys want to know what our mission What's is that? this week? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, of course. Well, this week we are going to be ending the national debt. How Yo, oh, crazy. That's pretty sick. That's pretty that's sick. Yo, but how are we even gonna do that? Print more money. Or oh, that's could, what I've been saying. But inflation, just, inflation. We're wait, not guys, filling up balloons. I don't think um, that's a problem. That one thing is back. It's the uh the McRib. The McRib is back. <laughs> yeah, the McRib is back. <laughs> we can Yo, sell a bunch of McRibs. That's okay. gonna make okay. loads we'll say, of money. We'll all of this chit chat. I can't eat pork for, for Miss Punch's <laughs> section here because we're about to throw it to Bubble Bath Banter with Punch. I'm Punch, and I figured we'd just start off the show this week by catching up with each other a little bit. So let's kick off the show with some bubble bath banter. So the first question I got for you guys is if you were to start or if you were to set your own new world record, what would it be for? Eating the most grapes in one minute. Sleeping. (laughs) I mean, turbo same. same. (laughs) Taking naps is my Hmm. specialty. Hmm. I don't know. I'd say I want to set the the most world records for probably like redying my hair the most times. I think that would be pretty fun. You'd get the record for most most no, that sounded bad. <laughs> most most not healthy hair. I think she my like, hair's pretty healthy. I don't know what kind of hair takes, dye like, you use. She takes like one Shredder. singular like strand of hair and just dyes it a different color every day. Oh, man, that would take you. You so honestly should do that. Oh, hair. I think yeah, Morgan's hair rainbow. looks way better well, than yeah. me right now. We're not gonna talk about my haircut. I Speaking of hair, hair. <laughs> two, <laughs> two and one every day. I mean, but Morgan, if listeners? anybody ever goes out to eat with you, if there's a pink hair in their food, I mean, we all know it's gonna be you. So. Yeah. No, it's mine. That's a yeah. You could never work at a restaurant, right? <laughs> yeah. Every well, time that have... month. Oh. Anytime I clean the drain, I always know it's my fault. Sorry, babe. Fine. Fine, Taco. You can go. Um, oh, I was gonna say, like, I would hope that the restaurant isn't putting hair in your food. Like, it's like, oh, you'll never, like, they'll obviously know it's Monster. You shouldn't know it's Monster because it shouldn't be there in the first place. Yeah, and they, they, put hair 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 hair. And they put it in your That should just be so one of the things. It's like, mad. whoever finds Monster's hair in their food, like, wins a prize. <laughs> Like, oh, no, sometimes it's... stuff happens. Like it, it, it's unavoidable. You're gonna I get can't a pink hair that in I your shed, Like a dog. Only okay, if it's yeah. angel hair. Yeah, pasta. Turbo knows she works at a she works at a restaurant, guys. What, One time at Culver's, I had to re- return a burger two times because it had hair on it two times. Oh, Ew. Ew. Oh, wow. that's, that's, that's a, a bad order. order. I ordered. I know. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Why is there still hair in my burger? I ordered Jimmy John's today because I had a coupon for a free bag of chips. And when it came, they didn't give me the chips. Third world problems. That's so bad. Dude, I would have, I never had Jimmy no, John's until like this problems. year. And now I can't oh, eat every other day. Oh, shoot. First world. Red Go on. <laughs> I got my worlds mixed up. I'm sorry. Dude, First Mars problem right now. First Mars problems, yeah. Dang it. <laughs> Oh, okay, right, but can we talk about how like like Subway like and like all those different sandwich places always have the best chips? Like they Pop do. Pepe's chips. They just hit the spot. Hannah yeah, wants some Panera chips. chips. Subway doesn't have their own chips. chips. Yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah, they have Lay's. 
But like when, like it's just better when you get it. Like at a, if you buy it and you're like, oh yeah, this is like a bag of Doritos. But like it's, when uh, you're little, like like your parents never let you get a bag of chips, so it's so much better when you get it from there. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. I was still listening- never allowed to. If you're listening to this podcast in the car, um, no, your brakes are not squeaking. Uh, that is Hannah's bird. So oh, who's Hannah? that's whose who's bird? Hannah. Who's who's who Hannah? Hannah? Oh, uh, I mean Taco. Ugh, sorry, <laughs> it's Taco's bird. <laughs> yeah, no. his name is Corn, by the way, guys. He's Flower being very corn. yellow. Flower or corn? Yellow. <laughs> He's being very vocal today. He just wants to be a part of the part of the pod. Yeah, <laughs> part of the pod, y'all. Okay, so next question was, what do you think you got? What do you think that? What animal do you think should be like the next pet that everyone owns? Kangaroos. Corn. Echidna. Everyone just has corn. Squirrel. Yeah. yeah. It's just Squirrels. Like, on the cob or? I'm not. <laughs> no. no. Squirrels? Off the cob. That's Squirrels pretty, on that's the pretty cob. sick. Squirrels on the cob. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not on the Raccoons. cob. Raccoons. No. Raccoons. Well, yeah, so six out of oh, oh my god. We do actually have things. raccoons for pets and they're the cutest things. Raccoons are actually so ants. cute. I wanted a goat so bad sweet. for like oh my, my entire life. And okay, my mom's always like, goats aren't pets. You can't get a goat. No goats. Okay, but then my neighbor, like I walk outside one day and like out like across the fence, I hear it's like, Meh. and I'm like, that is a goat. I know it's a goat. And I go into my mom and she's like, no, it's just a baby crying. And I, I take her outside. We walk around the house and like the goat's head is like poking out their side door. And I'm like, tell me that's not a goat right there. That's why a baby goat is called a kid. That's just one oh, really ugly baby. baby. Nice one. It's such a simple solution to your problem. Just take your neighbor's goat. They, <laughs> they got rid of it. They got rid of it. We don't they know where, but it's, it's not there. Oh. To you. That's sad. Think about no, I love it. Deer. I would want a well, deer. It that story explains a lot, Ashley. It really does. Rip, at, <laughs> rip punches neighbor's goat. Yep. Yeah. I yeah. love it. It's so people... cool to have a shark, though, like in Despicable Me. Oh my no. God. No. Like, no. you know, around? No. Yes. yes. That feels yes. wrong for yes. the shark, though. I, I would like a dolphin. You, sure. Like, a dolphin's a little different. Dolphins are sweet. Yeah. I think they're put boring. big fish. They're boring. In a little pond. No, yeah, no, exactly. No, they're not. I- I History. think if I had like a, a huge alligator on a leash and I was just walking, I think I'd be like the coolest guy on the absolutely entire block. You would, yeah, you'd also be absolutely the dead. not. Be the and dead. not when they see that haircut. <laughs> the deadest guy said <laughs> My aunt. My, <laughs> my aunt. For is all so of our funny. listeners at home, Shredder just turned off his camera. A edit. <laughs> First five minutes of the podcast. It was great to catch up with you guys, and I think we're going to throw it over to Taco to recap the news this week. Hey, y'all. It's Taco. Uh, This week, we're going to switch up the news a little bit. We're going to play a game. So we're going to have some good news, some bad news, some fake news. You guys have to guess. We're going to say two real, real news stories. And then we're going to bring a fake one in, but you guys have to guess which one is a fake one. So, okay, the first little, I don't know, headline, news article thing is uh, man cooks chicken in a Yellowstone hot spring. Uh, He was caught and banned from Yellowstone uh, because he was found cooking chicken in a hot spring. Uh, I don't think that's very sanitary. Um, he was with his family, like he did this as a family event with his son, and he was fined a whole six hundred dollars, as well as he was completely banned forever from the park. That sounds like a, like a KFC promotional event, like how to destroy uh, the <laughs> earth. The geyser bucket. That sounds disgusting. no, but like honestly, it's very efficient. Like I bet you could like cook a lot of chicken at once in there. Six hundred dollars, probably seems- not sanitary. Mm-hmm. I had six hundred dollars seems kind of low for a fine. Yeah, yeah especially a national park. Yeah, yeah. I, right I didn't know Bear Grill got banned from the national park. <laughs> it's like six hundred dollars to get into the national park alone. <laughs> Actually, do you have to pay to get into national parks? Yep, you do. Uh, yep, you do. Yes. Oh, um, <laughs> my fault. Okay, so Blue. I'll move on to the next little headline. Remember, you guys are still trying to guess which is which. So 
keep that one in mind. Okay, the next one is prison inmates forced to listen to Baby Shark on repeat. Uh, the guards fake. at a prison That's facility. Fake. This is one hundred percent real. Tortured inmates by cuffing them to a wall while making them listen to Baby Shark. Um, <laughs> For like that multiple is fake. hours. I that. hope this no is way true. that's real. That, Investigators that that continued fake. this torture. Hey, hear out. Um, what? <laughs> I said, hear her out. Hear her out. Oh. <laughs> Investigators considered like the listening to the baby shark to be torture um, and considered it like inhumane. And like the guards that did it were charged for like doing that. Um, and four guard, at least four, were fired for this. <laughs> I think I believe that it. sounds horrible. This is There's 100% no real. That's true. I there is not a no doubt in my mind that this is real. Sounds, sounds true enough. I would do like the dance. <laughs> that does not sound like torture at all. That'd be fun. Yeah, but I like, think that's listening, to, to, listening that. to any song. Me and Dursey are a prison. Me and Bella together. would be like coordinating a dance, like, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the song is the worst yeah. song ever. It's so it's annoying. So I cannot even listen to that for like a minute. I don't like it. Crasher and Claudia are just in the ward, like getting don't, like beefed up. Don't give Crasher <laughs> just like pressing ideas. weights while listening to Baby Shark. We're like, yeah, we're like push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, hey yo, they're, like, trying to get? show off by, they're trying to show off by doing clap push-ups. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, here's the last one. Okay, so you guys like have to make your decision quick. Okay. Um, pack of lemurs runs rampant through San Francisco after escaping zoo. Uh, a group of smugglers attempted to steal the lemurs, but they lost control of them. Um, and they're like running around like the downtown San Francisco area. Um, cause they can't catch them. Like they, cause they're really fast and they like to climb trees. Um, and a local shop owner states that I quote, Saw them scuttling down Clearfield Drive. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. It was a lady. I wasn't there. Um, animal Control is still attempting to wrangle them, um, but most of them are still on the loose. <laughs> the I baby think that's shark one. That, that baby quote makes it sound really crazy. real. Just because of the quote, I'm going to have to think that's real. Yeah, there's so much context. Yeah. Scuttling along. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, they tortured them with a song. This one's Le- like, I was there, here's who I did what, and here's a street. <laughs> no, I-, I think the lemurs aren't real because, I mean, people know lemurs are, for- they're dangerous and they're like nuts. <laughs> well, have you Do ever not a lemur that's King- dangerous? I don't even know what a lemur is. Yeah, what so, do you think about yeah, lemurs are dangerous? They're like, yeah, they're like monkeys. Primate. Yeah, they're have like monkeys, like Madagascar. not cool cousins. Oh, King Julian? Isn't it? Yeah, King yes, Julian and more. He is yeah. not evil. I'm saying no. lemur. That's my vote. No, he's the friendly. Funnest lemur. I I'll swear, I never one. meet another lemur like him. Okay, I think... have like have, have we come to I... a general consensus? Um, yeah. Which what do you think, Echo? Yes, the lemur. Echo, what do you think? Well, I think we know how bad we can treat people in captivity with the baby shark reference. <laughs> I mean, I get it why they escaped. So I think that it's real. Who said they escaped? Maybe they just like. Died. <laughs> I, I, we don't know what happened after that. I mean, no, imagine no, 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 your no, last no, words. No like, need the to keep you here being baby shark. That's sad. <laughs> Awful. That's a movie. This took a sharp turn. <laughs> ah. Okay. okay. Hey, so, I bet whoever made that song got lots of royalties out of that. <laughs> okay, so I'm hoping all of SCK and all of you listeners have your answer picked out. So I'm going to tell you which one was the fake one, okay? So, unfortunately, if you picked anything that is not the lemurs, you're wrong. The lemurs was the fake one. And you can thank Monster for coming up with that one. Based on a true story, almost. That was all Monster's idea. I should have known it's so detailed. Yeah, yeah. the the quote, like, okay, that was like a basic quote. Like, I went on (laughs) you on Google went to the San Francisco Zoo, and then zoomed in for a street nearby. <laughs> okay, well, you did some <laughs> deep work. <laughs> yeah.
I'm like, glad it yeah, worked. I, f- I feel like if lemurs were running rampant around San Francisco, I wouldn't just now be hearing about it. So I'm really surprised that I didn't like try and make any connection. And I was just like, yeah, it's true. Or maybe it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't even make the news. Maybe they'd be like, okay, whatever. Maybe Anything like, can happen this like, year. Just another day in San Francisco. This is normal in uh, old San Francisco. On the West Coast. I feel baby. bad for the Good prisoners. Yeah, I'm so surprised. Yeah. They torture them with baby shark. That sounds awful. At least yeah. the guard were arrested. We were prisoners. I would, I would take that punishment. That's so of funny. That's so were. ironic. <laughs> the guards were arrested. That's so funny. The guards yeah. were prisoners were arrested. They get thrown in there with the prisoners. Oh, the yeah. warden's just like, <laughs> oh. you know and then they all listen to Baby Shark. See how you it. like it. <laughs> yeah. Instead of putting tally marks on my wall, they just write the lyrics. <laughs> they carve the lyrics into the <laughs> baby shark. They baby write a new letter from the do 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 do. Do 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 do. Speaking of terrible things like being tortured by your own prison guard for listening to Baby Shark, I think I'm gonna throw it over to Claudie for what went wrong today. <laughs> Okay, well, that was a great news segment and all, but I think it's time to get a little bit personal. So we're going to help a few SCKs out by giving them some life advice and stuff. And, I mean, hopefully it helps because who's better to give advice than us? This feels like a Christian radio station. (laughs) (laughs) So thanks, Joel Olstein. You you look a little little sad down there. What went wrong with you today? Who are you speaking to, Claudie? I said, I said you. Oh, oh you. Oh, I thought you said wall. you. She's oh, do you think I said you? You just said you. missed the last syllable. I thought she was like, hey, you out there. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you, the audience. <laughs> okay, you, take it away. Um, I don't really know what went wrong today. What went right today? Mm, nothing, but nothing <laughs> went wrong. Just an yeah, there has to be that's, a, that's a sad day. It was just a day. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you All were right, in well, school. Something had to go wrong. Um, sure. nothing really went wrong. So uh, what went wrong with you today? I mean, so I had a long day of school, you know, three class periods. So I just go downstairs to just sit on my couch and watch some Netflix. And um, I was watching this one show, and I didn't know that this one person that I really liked was going to be in the show. And my dad was in the next room on, like, a very important business meeting call, you know, like, oh, oh, business. And, mm-hmm. <laughs> and like, really loudly, I shouted, Jason Sudeikis, like, out of <laughs> nowhere as he was talking in the other room. <laughs> and so I just went. And he couldn't see me because, like, the door was closed, but I could tell that he was probably just like, I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> that was just my <laughs> stupid idiot Your daughter. dad must have thought Jason Sudeikis was at your front door or something. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> thought this was going to be about Leonardo DiCaprio. I thought it was yeah, going to be about too. Adam Driver. Have you ever <laughs> thought of, uh, you know, dialing in the real world and not fantasizing about celebrities? Or I, hey, I didn't say anything too. about that. I just didn't know he was in it. So I was like, whoa. What a surprise. I think at all just time, like you should have a pillow on standby. So if you're ever mm-hmm. surprised, you can just shove your face in it and scream. And then it won't disturb the people around you. Or you can just you can get, get any kind of pillow, shut. too. You got to clear your thoughts and like remember that you're never going to be next to him like ever in your life. So, <gasps> hey, that is so depressing. That That is oh. not advice. So you're telling me that it's depressing. I would call it brutally honest. Oh. Yeah, I like I like turbo solution. Just duct tape your mouth shut. <laughs> Claudia, I, I I had a big dilemma today. What happened to you? And it wasn't it <laughs> Besides wasn't just the haircut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so again, to for all of our listeners at home, Shredder has a bad haircut today. <laughs> Terrible! It's so bad. Shredder's it's so here. bad. Just wait. Give us a side profile. Like turn it. Just show us the side. Just this. it's because he went to drink. <laughs> for all of our listeners at home. The side profile is worse. <laughs> for, for all our Anyways. listeners at home, don't go to Great Clips. <laughs> not sponsored. Not by sponsored. Great not sponsored by, by, by Great, great clips. clips. But they promised a great clip. And uh, did they follow through? It's all a lie. 
Anyway, this is just an abusive hey, relationship. Anyway, hey, let, let the man speak. Let's let the try man to speak. Talk. The man speak. Um, this morning, I was having a bagel with peanut butter on it because that's what I do every morning because it's so good, right? But then I got like distracted and I hit it with my hand and half the bagel fell on the ground. Peanut butter first. And, you know, it left this residue on the floor and the floor was all oily and stuff. And then it was like, it was a really big problem because I wasn't sure whether or not to you know, take half of another bagel or just throw out the other bagel. And it was, it was really stressful this morning. And um, that's what went wrong today. Well, you do have a dog that could have licked up the peanut butter. I believe Bailey would have enjoyed that. And a cat. Why would I make someone else suffer? Yeah, don't 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 dog 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 like told us. He left us on a cliffhanger. What'd you end up doing? Um, I ended up just having half a bagel and I went upstairs hungry. Oh, and now he's sad. for less. I think to fix that, you can stop being such a Butterfingers. Oh, yeah, peanut not butter. Oh, peanut Ooh. butter fingers. Ah, taco. Well, you well, could have had, um, I think, you could have diversified your plate a little bit, grabbed like a banana. Yeah, or, or like maybe you could just not, not bananas eat bananas again. Or toast. Okay, toast is okay vegetarian. Mm. Oh, All right, no. look, look, I have. I've, I have another As piece if of peanut advice. butter bagels aren't vegetarian. <laughs> Lou, you Lou need, you need like, you yeah, yeah, you need to sit down and relax because you're kind of a freak. Who kind, who eats peanut butter with bagels? I do. It's not yeah, humane. Oh, yeah. Who eats yeah. peanut butter at that all? Not, no, it's, good. Oh, it's butter. It's it's butter. Nah, nah, nah. You don't eat peanut butter. That's, it's decent. Just, um... That's decent. <laughs> Pee, pee, bagel well, for hell. <laughs> I have a life problem that I would like to share with you guys because who gives me better advice than people under the age of 18? Sure. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah. monster. Okay. Yeah. So I woke up this morning on time for my first period class. Athletic training, of course. Good job. But then, yeah. Shut up. But then I got, I got let out of athletic training early. Turbo would know we're in the same class. I got let out early because they were doing like picking classes for the juniors. So I took a little bit of a nap because it was 8 a.m. Um, and then I woke up 20 minutes late for my next class and i was like oh whatever i'll just get a tardy and then i realized it wasn't just a tardy i was 20 minutes late to a test (laughs) and i didn't have the code to get into the test and i was too embarrassed to type in the chat and be like hey i'm late i slept in can you please give me the code so i texted every single person i knew in that class for the code and i barely finished on time (laughs) monster 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 First of all, I feel like you did that on purpose. Like, why do I feel like that's something you would just do on purpose? I'm a good student. <laughs> also, mm, so she says. Out of me, me and Monster got out of our first period. It starts at eight o'clock, mind you. We got out at eight o three. Yes, we did to do our Strava. Moral. So of the story. a little early was just like didn't have class at all. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Moral of the story, Morgan will be returning next year as a super senior on the SEK podcast. (laughs) Never in a million years. (laughs) You should just have not taken the test. No, okay, I think I did a good job on the test. It just was the most stressful test I've ever taken in my entire life because I had 20 minutes less to do it. And then on top of that, our teacher ended the period 10 minutes early for no reason. So I had a half hour less time to take the test. Just to spite you, probably. Let's hear some more woes. Let's hear some more woes for today. Yuke. Come on. You have to tell what one thing had to have gone wrong. It's online learning. Come on. What is it? What went wrong? How about wrong? this week? Broaden it up to this Yeah, week. yeah, yeah. This week. This year. <laughs> your whole life. <laughs> what happened to you in general? What's make, what's what went down? wrong in your life? <laughs> Are you okay? Do <laughs> you um, need help? Something wrong with you. <laughs> She's so emotional. Anything. She has no words. Anything. Yeah. No words. I mean, She's speechless. Free. I I can kind of relate to Shredder's problem a little bit. I used to make bagels for lunch, and we have a toaster oven. See, I'm very impatient, and I'm very good at toasting toast because toast toasts a lot faster than bagels. Okay. Toast but does toast when a lot I put, faster. <laughs> Toast and when I put toasted, but yeah, that's why it's called when toast. I put bagels in the toaster oven. Um, sometimes I have a really bad memory too, so sometimes I'll forget about them. And one time I burnt two bagels in a day, and then my dad was just like, 
throw them out, throw them out. I don't want you eating burnt food. But then I burnt the third one. And then he told me to suck it up and eat it. I think moral of the story here is we got to stop eating bagels and switch to toast. <laughs> Bagel oh, wings. No. Yeah. Some personally, okay, I, I love to start my morning today, with a good old avocado toast. So you, I would, I could recommend you recipes, but I would just say maybe steer clear of the bagels in the toaster oven. You, you're Sounds just like wasting, a safety hazard. You're just wasting food. I mean, you might as well be putting chicken in a geyser. Yeah. <laughs> you, I like have the same problem as you. Like, okay, I have like, I have like a superstition that whenever I burn my bagel, like my day is just gonna go wrong. Like, if I burn my bagel, then the rest of my day is bad. Like, I know something is going to happen. And it's, every time I've burnt my bagel, something has gone wrong. Breakfast like, guys, it's that's the like, the day. Taco, that's like me with this song. You know the song? It's like, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> I have like a superstition <laughs> that, like, if that song comes on, like, not if I, like, cue it up or, like, it, like, just plays, if it plays <laughs> randomly... It's like illegal to skip it because if that song plays, I just automatically have like a great day, and I just can't explain it. But it always happens, and it's that. It's a good song. song. Isn't that like the whole point of the song? One in a good mood. Yeah, it's the whole point of the song. My dad like hyper fixates on like a specific like music artist. Like one time, it was Ava Max with like Psycho. You know that song that like rips everybody. (laughs) No, I hate that song. Yeah, that was on repeat. Every day in my house, that was it. That was the only song that played. I want to know just as bad as the prison. Well, she'd pick it up. <laughs> yeah, it was prison. Okay, well, that was a good chit chat. Seems like everyone got some pretty good life advice in there. But I think it's time to throw it over to Crasher for SEK Superlatives. All right, thanks, Claudie. So. Hey guys, like she said, I'm Crasher, and it's time for some SEK superlatives. And I'm feeling this is going to be a really fun one. I'm really excited. So basically, it's like a game where we're all going to hold up a piece of paper at the same time of who we think best fits a superlative that I'm going to say. So I'm going to say some sort of prompt that starts with like something like, who's most likely to blank or something like that. So, and don't worry for all of you listeners who are not on YouTube, I'm going to be narrating what's going on so you're not missing out, but I'm just going to start. So, starting off, my first prompt is, who is most likely to become a Disney Channel star as an adult? All right, so everybody, write who you think on your piece of paper. Mm, I got mine. I'm ready. Oh my gosh, taco's already done. Boats are coming in quick. All right, in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I see a lot of echoes. I see oh, it's some crashers. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I see a shredder. Wow, I agree with that. Nope. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> All right. That's the right. I think the winner is Echo. It wouldn't Ooh, be me. Yeah, it would Echo. not be me, though. I'm the only one that did Lemonade. It would definitely be Crasher. I can oh, definitely imagine God. Graham, like, Bertram on Disney, at, like, singing opera. Who? On a TV show. Who's Graham? <laughs> They're both Who? child stars, guys. We should let them both have the spotlight. All right. Are Echo. you guys ready for the next superlative? Absolutely, yeah. Crasher. Yes. Okay. Who do you think, out of all of us, would be the first to die in a zombie apocalypse? Oh. I know oh, my easy. answer. Easy. I know Done. I want to win this election. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we show it. Does everybody have their votes in? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. I oh see a lot God. of <laughs> <laughs> this I have what? A great insight. What did I do? Like Claudia yeah. wouldn't even know that it's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Claudia would have no <laughs> idea it's a like, horror like, movie. What? Yeah. <laughs> Why are All you right, walking Claudia, so funny? <laughs> you look a little defensive. Are you ready to defend yourself? Yes, I'm just a little offended. I personally think it'd be Punch. Just because she gives me those like... <laughs> <laughs> I voted Turbo because I've known Turbo for four years now, and she is very clumsy. 
she would be the one to trip as the the killer's chasing her and then she, would like, be stuck. like that zombie's kind of cute <laughs> <laughs> they would think the killer's <laughs> no, you're not guys. wrong no, let me no. defend myself i have super great survival instincts you have <laughs> asthma <laughs> what? Wait, that's unfair. Can I point out that I think that Lou would be the one to just be like, oh, hey, and like dap up the zombie and just come Lou would have Lou yeah, so dap me up back. Lou, Lou, would just be Lou definitely has a bunker like yeah. filled Yo, to the brim with like, with like <laughs> non perishable foods. He's Twitch What's streaming that? it. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch streaming the apocalypse. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, next one. Who is most likely to pull off having pink hair? Oh. I wonder who this could be. Don't pick the obvious. Think outside the box, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Got my answer. All right, I'm. I'm For listeners at home that don't know, Monster has pink hair. Yeah, she got bright pink hair. I think Monster we say that every episode, and there's only two episodes. I it's okay. Right. Why not keep it going? Go check out our last episode. All right, I got my. All answer. right, five, <laughs> four, Turbo. three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I see a lot of Lou. Blue. Why did everyone say Lou? <laughs> I don't see one yeah. Lou voted. Oh no, Lou. I do. Rody said monster. Why is me up here? Why is me up here? Why is, me up here? <laughs> Why is me up here? Is this you wanting to dye your hair? Because I have extra. Yes. I can bleach and I would... dye your hair if you want me to. Wait, bleach it? I don't know about well, that. You have to bleach too dark it to just it put paint. the dye straight on. Yeah. Lou, show up. Lou, up for our I guess. Floor. Um, like, not YouTube listeners. Lou has very dark brown hair. Yeah. The pink would not show up if you didn't bleach it first. Oh, I don't know I, anything I, about I hair products. My own hair the other week. I think I could do a mean bleach job on on Lou over here. <laughs> I, I, might, I, I feel like I'm I might just like shave my head first. first. Yeah, I kind of want to <laughs> shave my head first and then bleach it pink. Dye the stubble. That's, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's kind Frank of a Ocean sick look. Yo. All right, so the last one. There's two that I could pick, but thinking in my head, they would both be the same person. So I'm just going to say it. Who would be the most likely to stare directly into a solar eclipse? <laughs> this one is so easy. I think we all know. Yeah, this one's easy. This one. It's obviously Shredder. <laughs> <laughs> a good one, Claudia. So good. obvious. So obvious. Yeah, good, one, good, good one. Good one. Good one. You literally... And without even seeing any of the votes, we all know who's going to win by a landslide. I mean, I'm kind of in between <laughs> two separate people. This question. One, because it's you obvious, and the other, because they just give me that vibe. You, Bella, it's, it's what you get for making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and the other one was who gets lost at a field trip. I think it'd be the same person. It's the same person. Guys. It would be the same yeah. person. Wait, I all right, three, two, one. Cloudy, 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 cloudy. Why me? Uh, excuse me, Taco. Why would you vote for me? Because um, you I stare think directly Taco at just everything. Has that ability. What? <laughs> Turbo. Literally, every time we go on the meet, you just stare straight <laughs> at the camera the whole time. Um, it that's like for this. Most of the effect. votes were for Cloudy, though. Cloudy is the reigning solar eclipse starer here. Mine this was is what, between Turbo and It would and look cool, though. It would look cool. This would be Turbo. Solar eclipse Tur- Turbo would be like, uh, hey, guys. Hey, what's up? Why is it so dark out? <laughs> <laughs> Turbo wouldn't think anything was wrong, either. Yeah. <laughs> She's already what partially blind. What's that smile in Eclipse? One time they were like, like that's a long nap. nap. <laughs> 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 yeah, Turbo really wouldn't survive the apocalypse. Not only does she have asthma, she can't see. <laughs> She's blind. She's blind. There's no eye doctors in the apocalypse, Turbo. Yeah. All right, all right, everyone. That's enough. So I think I'm going to have to wrap this up and hand it over to Shredder. Thank you, Crasher. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, everyone, for the Rinse and Repeat episode number two. Um, we had our laughs, we had our tears, we had our smiles, you know, and blood I'm shirt. sure the I'm sure the last segment uh, probably had a lot of bad blood uh, as well <laughs> after this, but that's okay. That's not on air. Um, but guys, we did all this. We had our fun, but what will we name the show? Peanut butter side down. 
Baby yeah. shark torture. <laughs> baby shark torture. Solar eclipse <laughs> staring contest. Peanut hear me out, shark. hear me out. Shredder's hair got shredded. Um, <laughs> I'm a big I'll, fan of peanut butter side down. Personally, yeah, I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say a big yeah. no to Crasher's suggestion. Um, <laughs> all right, what do, what do we think? Do we think um, do we think monsters peanut butter side down or solos? The solar eclipse staring contest. Peanut butter side down. I like peanut butter side down. I like peanut butter, butter side yeah. down. Thanks, guys. I'll be mm-hmm. girl. okay. Appealing to the directors. I see how it is. <laughs> so just jealous. Sad. Just jealous. Just jealous. Oh, I mean, I'm sure is I am. Your jealousy? Is this your jealousy? Well, guys, I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess that's the title, Peanut Butter Side Down, episode number two. And um, you know, so we learned the title of the show, but we also learned from this episode that if on YouTube this gets more than twenty likes, Lou will dye his hair pink. Ooh. Smash so, that like button. Yes, like I it. actually yeah. will. Subscribe. Smash that subscribe smash that button, that button for an extra greeting. Oh wait. Shoot. And Sorry, guys. wherever you view podcasts, you can listen to it unless you want to hear uh, Taco's Bird Shriek. But anyways, <laughs> that's it. That's Sorry. episode number two. Um, we do this podcast like we do our homework once a week. Um, sorry to all our teachers out there. But good night to you, Mrs. Jackson, and to everyone else. Have a night.